Good day dear students our lesson for today is all about characteristics and disease agents of communicable diseases. For our learning objectives, at the end of the lesson the pupils should be able to identify the various disease agents of communicable diseases. Describe how communicable diseases can be transmitted from one person to another. Characteristics and disease agents of communicable diseases. Communicable diseases are caused by pathogens or microorganisms which cause diseases. The spread of these illnesses varies depending on the type of disease and its disease agent. A disease agent is a pathogen or microorganism that cause a particular disease. Bacteria. A unicellular microorganism that can grow multiply and spread in many ways. Most bacteria are good and there are only few bad bacteria. Bad bacteria are the ones that cause diseases. Example of these are Staphylococcus aureus which cause most by staph infection. Staph infection is a kind of skin disease. Example of this are boils, impetigo and staph cellulitis. Salmonella and E. coli can be led to food poisoning which is an example of foodborne disease. These bacteria are food contact surfaces. Whooping cough or pertussis is a bacterial infection that affects the respiratory tract, nose and throat. Diseases caused by bad bacteria are usually treated with antibiotics or antibacterial drugs. Virus are microorganisms that cause contagious diseases like the common cold. Unlike bacteria, a virus needs a living host to reproduce and survive for a long period. Example, a cold virus that comes into contact with a doorknob will not survive for a long time because the surface is non-living thing. If the virus gets inside the human body, it will be able to survive and multiply. Rotavirus is a contagious virus that causes gastroenteritis and inflammation of the stomach and intestines mostly in young children. It can be spread via stool of an infected person. Hepatitis A, B and C these viruses can damage the liver, eventually causing cirrhosis or liver failure. Human immunodeficiency virus HIV, is another common virus. It can lead to acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, AIDS. Fungi, such as yeast and molds are single-celled or multicellular microorganisms that can cause infection or disease. Fungal infections can cause various skin diseases like ringworm, fungal nail infection and athlete's foot. Parasites, or organisms that use a host or another organism for nutrition and habitat. Parasites are generally harmful to their living host and can transfer from one host to another. Head lice infestation pediculosis is an example of parasitic infection or infestation in a person's hair caused by head lice. Parasitic worms like hookworm, roundworm or whipworm can live in the soil and penetrate the skin, usually of young children who walk barefoot or accidentally ingest contaminated soil. Transmission of communicable diseases. Communicable diseases can be transmitted via direct contact, skin-to-skin -skin contact, indirect contact, through airborne droplets from coughing or sneezing, animal bites, vector-borne, or food contamination. Elements in the cycle of infection. A person acquires a communicable disease if these six elements in the cycle of infection are present. 1. Disease agent. It refers to any pathogen or microorganism that causes disease like bacteria, virus, fungi and parasites. 2. Reservoir. This is where a pathogen normally lives and multiplies. Examples of reservoir are humans, animals, and soil. 3. Portal of exit. It is how the pathogen leaves the host. Example, through the intestinal tract open wounds, blood or saliva. 4. Mode of transmission, refers to how the disease agent spreads which is possible through direct or indirect contact. 5. 
Portal of entry. It is how the disease agent enters the susceptible host. Examples are through the mucous membrane, through open wounds, via blood or through the respiratory tract. 6. Susceptible host. This pertains to the person who will be infected due to the inability of his or her immune system to fight the infection successfully. Did you understand the lesson? Thank you for watching in this video. Feel free to like share and subscribe for more educational content.